Did you know that you can change the look of your YouTube studio using AI? And you can change how much you want. For example, you can change the entire look of your studio. Or you can just add a couple of little things. I will show you how to do it. And we are starting now. Okay, so for this, you're going to need a couple of things. One, you're going to need a screenshot from the footage that you're going to manipulate. Pretty much every piece of video editing software has this, where it allows you to export the frame. And that's the option that you want to use. Next, you have your image. You want to go to firefly.adobe.com. This is currently free while it's in beta, so depending on when you watch this video, it may or may not still be free. But at the time of publish, this is still free. But you want to drag your image into Adobe Firefly. And so once you, you, your image is inside of Adobe Firefly, the very first thing I want to show you is down here at the bottom, you can see where it has add or subtract. And then over here it has insert and remove. So what you can do here is I'm going to make sure that I have insert selected. And I want to make sure that I have add selected. Because we're going to be adding a window here. And uh, all I have to do is sure over in this area here. And once I do that you're going to see the dialog box pop up down here at the bottom and I'm going to put in a window with ocean view and click generate. Now once it gives the image, one of the cool things is it gives you different options. So I can come down here and then I can say okay well let's try this. That's not really an ocean view. That actually looks okay. And then right here is another option as well. I actually, I actually like that so I'm going to hit keep. Then I'm going to come over here to this side and I'm going to block out to this whole area. I'm going to make sure to be mindful of the desk. It's going to recreate some of that, but I'm going to make sure to be mindful of that. While I'm erasing all of this. And then I'm going to put bookshelf. That looks a little ridiculous, so I'm going to go through the options again. That also looks a little weird, but it looks okay. So this looks a bit more realistic, so I'm going to roll with that. But first, I'm going to check what this is. So I'm going to go with this one here. Since it looks a lot more realistic, I'm going to hit keep. And then I'm going to add the piece of art right here. The same thing, I'm going to highlight that area. And then I'm going to describe the image as modern art. Then I'm going to click Generate, and then I'm going to go through the options, and I think that looks okay, but I'm going to have to um, generate some more just to be safe. That looks almost like an abstract Mandalorian. So I'm keeping it. Now when you go to download this, you want to go back to your editing software, and you want to import the image that you just exported. And then from there, drop it into your timelines. So you can see here, when I turn this off, all those things go away. So this is the part you want to be mindful about. Like, in one second, so I can change my surroundings. Like, now we're in Hollywood. Now we're, we can be in Paris. Uh, there's well, well, go there. There's a house with a pool and a flower over there. So just imagine it, and you can make it with it. Okay, that was pretty cool, right? So once you have this in here, what you want to do is you need to mask yourself out. So the editing software I'm using currently, it makes this really easy to do. This is Adobe Premiere. But what I do is go through, and I mask myself out like this, 
So I'm just going to do a quick mask right here. And you, have to, you don't actually have to be that detailed. And then I'm going to go over to my mask in Adobe Premiere. And I'm going to hit Invert. And you can see when I hit Play. Right, so I'm within the area that I cut out. So I could just stretch this out over that particular clip. Now let me blow your mind. Now for this, even if you're not going to use this specific tool, I just want you to see what you can do here. So an event you need in the future that you know you can learn on from this. And the really awesome thing about this is it's all new. But check this out. So in Photoshop, I'm going to make the canvas size bigger. Just canvas itself. I'm going to make this go to 5,000. I'm going to take this one to 3,000. Just give me enough room to work with. Now after I expand this, the next thing that I'm going to do here is delete all the extra stuff here. Now I'm going to use the wand tool and I'm going to select the background and go to Jennifer Phil and I'm just going to say Modern Office. Now in Adobe Firefly, I just have the option down here and that I can choose between a few different options. So I think this one looks pretty cool. Then I'm going to click Add to Mask. And just go and go here and cover up this lineup. And this is going to ensure that all the edges look nice and everything fits. And from here, just export. And I export it as a PNG. Just so I can have the highest quality possible. And just like with Firefly, I'm just going to import the image and open up a little bit to give me some space to work with and i'm gonna go to the masking tool to do the exact same thing that we did before and i'm gonna hit invert okay now i'm gonna give you a pro tip here this part is really important for making everything to make it go in together in a fantastic way so if you're using software and you're gonna do any type of zooms or crop zooms or anything like that what you want to do is, of course, you want to limit the size to the same size as the graphic that you're going to be using in terms of length, and then any keyframe animations that you want to. I'm going to zoom this in, but as you can see how it goes outside about that bounding box, right? So what I'm going to do here is pull this back, and then what I'm going to do here inside of Premiere is I'm going to right-click and I'm going to hit Copy. And then I'm going to click on the graphic that we added, the artificial stuff, and I'm going to hit paste attributes. And then I'm going to hit motion and then hit OK. So what happens is this adds a level of realism to it because the motion sells the whole thing. Another tip for you I found while messing with this is if you also adjust the colors together, it can also make a really big impact of how everything looks. It makes everything look a lot more realistic. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add adjustment layer inside of Premiere. Then I'm going to go to File and New, and then Adjustment Layer. This adjustment layer is going to match the settings of the video, and I'm going to hit OK. And then this adjustment layer is going to drag this thing on top of the whole thing. Now with this adjustment layer, it makes it not destructive in any way. And it's applying to everything that's underneath it. So now I can just go in and I can adjust the white balance. And it's going to impact, as you can see right here, the entire thing. So I'm going to adjust the weight and balance just a bit. Let's say I'm going to pull back a little bit of the contrast, or I'm going to increase it. I'm going to write out the shadows, and as you can see, how this impacts the entire thing. And then I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to add a Vigenti, just something minor. I'm going to go into Creative, add a bit of vibrance to it, maybe sharpen it a little bit, to bring it all together. And for the sake of the demo here, I'm actually going to stretch out this over the whole clip for the motion just so you can see how, how real this makes everything look. So we have that slow motion creep of everything zooming in right here. That will just help sell it as one piece in the real scene. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.